Hey everybody, welcome back to the Chaotic Little Book Corner. My name's Acacia. Today I'm going to be doing a review on These Violent Delights and my overall thoughts on this and its story. This is the story of a young girl who is a intern at a local um, magazine in the LA area and she decides that she's going to write a piece outing her high school and um, her teacher from high school for coming on to her in a sexual way. Um, she did go to the school and report it but they did nothing about it except for send him for counseling and make it so that he was supposed to have no contact with her after the fact. Um, but other than that there was no recourse for his actions. This story was really, really well done and I felt it was really well executed. It follows Carrion, who is the intern who writes the story first, Jane, who is the boss of the intern and who is helping with research after the piece comes out, um, Eva, who is the mother of two girls and another one of the victims of this male, male predator's affliction, and also Sasha, who is also a victim of the male predator's affliction. And each of them have different experiences with this man, but all of them have been sexually taken advantage of by him in one way or another, and it all starts with him caressing their knee and then telling them they are a rare rose and feeding on their insecurities and their want for love and attention. For me, this book was really, really important and it had a lot of value to it and I really think it came out at an ideal time. I don't think that was a mistake though. I think it was very much written for the time that we're in and for the whistleblowers that we are trying to support at this time and place and I think that this talks a lot about and from every angle um, how the whistleblowers can be treated as victims or as um, survivors, also as liars and um, abusers themselves. I think that this really goes into how the girls are treated after coming forward and what that looks like, whether they are believed, whether they are not believed, what the harassment looks like from those who don't believe them and what the support looks like from those who do. I think that it really holds a lot of value as a story for many women who might have gone through similar experiences in their younger years. I myself was... 13 when a teacher caressed my thigh and told me that he could help me pass my class and I really hate that memory but it is one that um, I recently was able to come to terms with in therapy on my own and it's been something that I kind of have just had to deal with and been really grossed out by and I do remember that I did get a C in that class because I would not go any further than the moment of the initial pass. Um, I then reported him and was told that there was no way that he could have done that and that I was lying and he was a nice man who had a family and therefore I should just be quiet. Um, but my school responded pretty well to all of the sexual assault charges and um, accusations that I made, which were several. And I think that that, I don't know if that's a representation of the time or it's just a very common thing. And I know that I blossomed quicker than a lot of my um, classmates, um, but I got a lot of unwanted attention physically from classmates and from older men, and I got that from about the age of 12 on, and so I started gaining weight and trying to hide my body and dressing in looser clothes and trying to learn how to um, avoid being seen as much as possible. And I think that that's kind of a trend that has stuck with me and it's interesting to read this book and to see how all three of these women have grown up and what they have done to themselves and how they have now presented themselves to society um, as it's very clear that that initial interaction with a man does kind of push them in one way or another. One girl ends up 
being single and alone but wants to forward herself in her career and throw herself into that. She dresses in a non-promiscuous way but very professional and well well put together because she does have money. Eva is the mother and she holds herself to a standard where she does dress well but not too provocatively either. She also covers herself up and holds herself to a higher standard of making sure that she is well covered in all of her areas of more delicacy. And then there is Sasha who has gone in a totally different direction. She dresses rather young and not pro not provocatively but she puts on airs and has tattoos and piercings and has gone to the extreme to make her body more herself and um, more artistic. And each of these women have had very different experiences with how they address their bodies and how they feel about their bodies. I think that this is a really interesting conversation about what the initial trauma can do to a person and how it can affect their livelihood um, even in the slightest and smallest way. I think that it does affect how a woman grows and interacts with men from that point on. I think that it does affect how women trust and believe in men from that point on. I think that it is a really important conversation to have that those experiences, whether they be um, more well thought out and well plotted and um, more blunt. So whether it be sexual intercourse being the inappropriate behavior that we can all agree is inappropriate between an adult and a child or just a caress of the thigh that could be completely overwhelming and shake the core of the existence of the child because they don't understand what to do. Um, I think that you have to understand that no matter how big or small the interaction of sexual nature is between the predator and their um, and the child it can affect in a large way how the child now responds and um, feels towards people of uh, authority and people of um, the opposite gender and people of the same gender if it's a um, same gender perpetrator as well. Um, but their childhood has changed forever and their experience of safety and um, sanity within the world is no longer the same either. So I think that this really demonstrates that beautifully and I think that it's a really well done book. I really highly recommend it to those of you who think you can stomach it. Um, it does not shy away from some pretty graphic moments and some really blunt scenes of inappropriate conduct on the teacher's part. I highly recommend it though if you think you can handle it and I think that it is a great book overall. So if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, click that subscribe button. And if you have any questions, comments, or quandaries, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.